Welcome to WeWeb. WeWeb is a web application builder that lets you build data-driven, interactive websites like CRMs, booking portals, and much, much more. So WeWeb AI is now generating the page based on your prompt. And once generated, it's easy to edit the generations. To do so, you can simply prompt the AI exactly what it is you want to change. And if there's a particular element you want the AI to focus on, then you can click on the element to pass it in as context. Then simply submit your prompt and the AI will make the changes. Or if you want to make manual adjustments at any point, you can switch to edit mode. Here, you have access to the properties of any element on your page and you can change whatever styling you like. So you could do things like changing the color of icons, changing the content of text, or reordering elements in the layout tree. And if you wish, you can manually add new elements to the page at any time. To do so, simply open the add panel, and from here, drag and drop any element you like onto the page. And then customize the element however you like. When you're ready to test your site, you can enter preview mode. Here, you'll see a live preview of your app where you can test your app as if you were a real user. Now, in order to cater for the logic of the page, the AI will have created variables to store data, like this list of marketing tasks. This data can then be bound to elements in the interface, and the interface will then automatically display the data stored in that variable. For example, in this case, our list is bound to the marketing tasks variable, meaning whenever we add a new task to the variable, an element will automatically be created, displaying the respective data of that new task. And then also to cater for the logic of the page, the AI will have created workflows for when a user interacts with the interface, like when they click on a button or submit a form. Here, the AI has created a workflow on the add task button so that when the user clicks the button, the pop-up to add a new task will first appear. And then when a new task has been created, we add it to our marketing tasks variable so it's displayed in our interface. And we can test all of this in preview mode to make sure it works as expected. So when I click the new task button, I'm presented with the task creation pop-up. And so when I now create a new task, it gets added to our marketing tasks variable and is thus displayed in the interface. Now, to turn your project into a production-ready full-stack application, you need a backend. So far, the AI will have used variables to store information, like in this example, the marketing tasks and events. But there's a limitation. These variables only exist while the app is running, and they're usually tied to a single user's session or device. Meaning if we refresh the page, we'll lose any changes made to the data in our variables. A backend is different. It allows you to securely store information permanently on a server. This means the data stays safe, even if the user closes their browser, refreshes the page, or accesses your app from a different device. To help with this, we offer a range of backend service integrations, all available in the plugins menu. Finally, if you ever get stuck while you're building, check out the help menu in the top bar. It has a link to our documentation with extensive resources on all of the features and elements of WeWeb, and also a link to our community where you can ask members of the community for tips and solutions. If you're looking for some more guided learning, I highly recommend checking out the WeWeb 101 section of our documentation. There you'll find a walkthrough of all of the key features of WeWeb. And with that said, welcome to WeWeb. We can't wait to see what you build.